It's time to meet the incredible Dick Van Dyke, an award-winning actor, comedian, dancer, and singer who's been entertaining audiences for eight decades. Famous for his roles in Mary Poppins and The Dick Van Dyke Show. At 97 years old, Van Dyke still boasts an impeccable physique and an energetic spirit. Dick will tell you that his remarkable health and longevity are due in huge part to his positive mindset, his vigorous exercise routine, and his love for a very particular berry. Let's uncover all the lifestyle habits that have him bursting with energy, plus four foods he avoids at all costs. Let's begin with Dick's mindset. Dick Van Dyke was born in West Plains, Missouri on December 13, 1925, but spent his formative years in a little town of Danville, Illinois, where he lived with his mother and brother. His father, Lauren, worked as a traveling salesman for the Sunshine Cookie Company and was seldom around throughout Dick's childhood. Regardless, Dick said that each of the 30,000 residents of his little town of Danville felt like family. That's exactly the kind of guy today's star is always full of optimism. He believes a positive mindset improves both physical and mental health. His positive attitude and natural sense of humor caused him to stumble, quite by accident, into show business. And that same positive mindset helped him to persevere in one of the most ruthless industries in the world, leading him to become the multi-award winning actor we all know and love today. But it wasn't all a piece of cake. Dick faced significant professional and financial challenges early in his career and he wouldn't get his first major breakthrough role until his 1960 appearance in the musical Bye Bye Birdie with Cheetah Rivera. He was 35 years old at the time. The musical was a success. It helped him bag a Tony Award and ushered him into a long and successful career spanning over seven decades in the entertainment industry. What sticks mantra? Keep moving! These words have always helped him transition through difficult phases in his life and even make up the title of his 2015 memoirs. In his lifetime, Dick faced alcoholism, rheumatoid arthritis, depression, plus the mental and physical strains of aging while trying to remain relevant. And yet, the simple phrase, keep moving, reminds him to stay present in the moment connect with his inner child, and express his endless playfulness and creativity. Dick has embraced aging with enviable grace and has been overheard saying, age is more than a number, it's a mindset. An open mind is one of the best things when you get older. Mm -hmm. Keep an open mind, be ready to change. The Mary Poppins star plans to live to at least 100, just like one of his mentors, the legendary actor George Burns. Dick confidently says, George Burns made it and I'm gonna do it too. Keep watching to discover exactly how Dick plans to do it. Let's talk about his exercise routine. Dick is known for being very proactive about his health, and the Chitty Chitty Bang Bang star believes exercise is crucial for staying flexible and healthy into your 90s. In fact, Dick still goes to the gym every morning. Here it is from his own lips. Every morning I go to the gym and okay, then I swim. I if you're feeling doubtful about your own abilities, Dick also has some great advice. And if a person 90 years old is sedentary, starts going to the gym, even if you only do 10 minutes, yeah. mm -hmm. getting there. In an exclusive interview at his home in Malibu, Dick showcased some of his daily workout routines consisting of leg circles and sit-ups. Dick knows that leg circles help him maintaining hip mobility and in strengthening his core. Our joints tend to stiffen with age and reduced activity, which can lead to challenges with mobility and balance. Leg circles help keep the hip joints supple and strengthen the muscles of the hip and thigh. This can be a lifesaver, as toughening these muscle groups can help prevent falls and injuries. But why does he do sit-ups? Who needs abs at 97? Well, it might surprise you to know that sit-ups help your back. If you're like Dick, who has a long history with low back issues, you know how debilitating chronic back pain can be. Well, one way to stabilize the low back is by strengthening the abdominals. Often, weak glutes are another culprit here. So throwing some simple bridge exercises into the mix is definitely a worthwhile idea. We'd be remiss not to mention one of Dick's favorite hobbies, dancing. 
At 97, the Mary Poppins star can still move his feet and wiggle his body better than most 30-year-olds. Having a wife 45 years his junior to dance with is also a huge motivator for getting on his feet. Why not take a cue from him? Turn the speakers up and boogie to your favorite tunes like no one's watching. The unstructured nature of dancing makes it an exercise that is available to absolutely everyone. There's no rules. Just allow your inner child to explode. Get playful and have fun. While you're exercising your spirit, those rhythmic moves also come with some pretty great benefits for your physical health, like increasing aerobic fitness, building muscular strength and endurance, improving balance and coordination, helping with weight management, and improving bone density. Don't go away! You don't want to miss out on Dick's special dietary habits that have him bursting with life. Oh, and remember to leave a like and subscribe to our channel so you never miss any of our inspiring videos. What is the diet that has Dick Van Dyke so vibrant at the age of 97? While our star is certainly not a dietary fanatic, he does say he prefers to eat light and fresh which includes plenty of fresh fruits and veggies, and in general, a preference for eating in moderation. There's one food that Dick cannot get through the day without. It's a tiny berry that's packed with nutrition. Can you guess what it is? It's blueberries. Yes, the simple, easy to come by dark blue skinned fruit. Blueberries contain a number of powerful phytochemicals, including anthocyanins, quercetin, resveratrol, and elagic acid. These potent antioxidants are amazing at reducing cellular inflammation, helping to maintain blood sugar and bolstering cardiovascular health. And the best part is, they are super yummy and easy to fit into a variety of meals. To be clear, even though he is the picture of health and longevity, even Dick has his vices. He's confessed to eating a pint of Haagen-Dazs ice cream almost every night. However, there are four foods in particular that Dick avoids at all costs. Number 1. Fast and processed food Remember, our guy likes to eat light and fresh. Two things processed foods are not. He avoids them because of the many additives and preservatives they contain, which can have adverse effects on his health. Number 2. Salty food Dick avoids foods that contain a lot of salt. We know you've heard this one a million times. But salty foods are associated with hypertension, kidney failure, dehydration, and cognitive decline. Number 3. Red meat Most of us are aware of all the negatives associated with excessive intake of red meat, like the potential harm to the cardiovascular system. While it can be tasty, Cooking red meat at high temperatures can also lead to the formation of compounds like heterocyclic amines, which are suspected carcinogens. Number 4. Alcohol Dick really struggled with alcoholism when he was younger. He's admitted in several interviews that he was an alcoholic for 25 years. Luckily, with the help of family and friends and prayer, he was able to overcome his addiction. Alcohol consumption is linked to an increased risk of several types of cancer, including mouth, throat, and colon cancers. Many other complications come with excessive alcohol consumption as well, including weight gain, depression, anxiety, and liver damage. Dick Van Dyke is aware of the challenges that come with aging. He is no longer able to do all the activities he loves, like tennis. But importantly, he chooses to keep moving and focuses on hobbies he is still able to do, like dancing. Before you go attributing Dick's health and fitness at almost 100 to money and luck, remember, we don't stop moving because we grow old. We grow old because we stop moving. Keep moving, everyone! What do you think about the legendary Dick Van Dyke and his ability to still step in time at the age of 97? Let us know in the comments!